It's a complex topic that generates plenty of headlines. Sports such as world athletics, swimming and rugby have taken a hardline approach banning all trans women. But the Australian Sports Commission says Australian sports should be more nuanced. Working with, um, you know, uh, medical professionals, um, people involved in sport, both cisgender and trans athletes, as well as the LGBTQ plus community and come up with guidelines that, that allow for a pragmatic approach to what is the um, a, a Australian framework that needs to be applied. Australian law prevents discrimination, harassment or victimisation on the basis of sex or gender identity. There are provisions for exemptions, but they must be reasonable and justifiable. The ASC advocates an inclusion-first approach with exemptions to be determined on a case-by-case -case basis. At the moment, we're seeing so much abuse and hurtful commentary and opinions stated online. There is so much to gain from reading the guidelines and to learn, to see another perspective. There's a high-profile lobby group of women, both current and former athletes, who argue that guidelines such as these erode the hard-fought-for gains in looking for gender equality. Today I'm signing into law the Save Women's Sports Act, which offers similar protections for young women at colleges and universities. The refusal to recognise trans women as women remains a major hurdle. We've only recently heard um, uh, in political debate the, the usage of the language of, you know, men wanting to compete in women's sport. That's not the case. This is um, a very different and nuanced issue. Nuance that is hard to find in today's politicised, social media-driven debate. Tracy Holmes, ABC News.